Today I'm going to show you how to solve markup and discount questions using proportions. Let's look at a first example. PacSun is selling t-shirts at 30% off of the original price, which was $28.50. Look at the question. What is the discount? Now in the past, you most likely would have done a problem like this one by taking the formula part equals the percentage times the whole value, or the original value. If we use that same idea here, we would say the part is the percentage, we'll change that to a decimal, times the whole amount of $28.50. And when I multiply those things out, I'm going to get myself $8.55. That is, again, the discount. Now, if we use that same idea, I'll leave the 855 there so you can see it. If we have the same situation, a t-shirt at 30% off of the original price of 2850 and this time I'm looking for the sale price, now I have to remember to go back, take my $28.50, subtract away the $8.55, and we do our subtraction and we end up getting $19.95 for the sale price. Now this is a reasonable way to do the problem, a way that you've learned and you've known for many years. If we use a different example and a different uh, style of problem but the same general concept of finding the percentage and then adding or subtracting it back on, we could solve a similar problem with sales price or sales tax. A 65 inch plasma TV is selling for $4,000 at Best Buy. What's the final cost including the 6% Pennsylvania sales tax? In this case I might do a very similar idea. I might still use my part equals percent times whole formula. So in this case, the part, which in this case is sales tax, is going to be 6% or 0 .06 times the whole cost of $4,000. When I multiply 0 .06 times 4,000, I'm going to get $240. Now remember that we're looking for the final cost, so 240 is not your final cost. You have to remember to go back and add the $4,000 original cost to the $240 in sales tax, in which case I get $4,240 as my final price. Now these two techniques I've used for sales tax, for discounts, and for sale prices are good solid techniques. However, we'd like to show you a different technique that will give you uh, not only the ability to solve those styles of problems, but harder problems as well. Let's start back with our original example. PacSun is selling t-shirts at 30% off of the original price, which was $28. What I'm going to change, since we're looking for sale price, is I'm going to go ahead and use a proportion like we've been using in class. Instead of using is over of, I'm going to substitute the words part over whole, I'll still have my percentage on the top right, and I'll still have my constant value of 100 because it's a percent. Now I'm going to substitute in some values. The part of the amount that I'm looking for is my sale price, and I don't know that yet, so I'm going to use x for my variable. The whole value is the original cost of the t-shirt is $28.50. Now for the other side, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, I'm looking for a sale price. I'm not looking for discount. So instead of using 30%, I have to visualize what the cost of the item would look like. If 30% off is my discount, let's say that's this portion of a, a rectangle, 70% would be my discounted cost, or my sale price. Cross that out and write sale price. So I'm going to substitute and put a 70 in here, since this is what I want to find. I'll cross multiply 2850 times 70. And I get 1995 equals the other cross product of 100x. I'll do some division. And I'll get $19.95 as my sale price. Now that's how I use a problem where I'm doing discount or a sale price. Notice again, the change was I'm using the 70 and I save myself a step of not having to do subtraction. If we do a slightly different problem and we look at an increase of cost, this is one that's a little bit more challenging. We're going to do the same setup with part over whole equals percent over 100. I'm just going to substitute part, whole, percent, and 100. Now let's fill in our spaces. 
In this case, the whole value is $4,000. The part or the cost that I'm looking for is the unknown. My constant of 100 is on the bottom, and my percentage this time is I have to spend 100% of the cost plus an addi additional 6% in sales tax. To save myself a little bit of work, I'm just going to use the number 106 instead of those two values. Now, I'm going to cross multiply. 4,000 times 106 is going to give me a big number, 424,000, which we'll deal with in a moment. The other cross product is 100x. I'll simplify and divide by 100, and I'm going to get $4,240 as my final price. Now, if you remember back to our previous examples, this was the same value for the TV as I had previously. And over here, this was the same value of a sale price for the t-shirt as I had previously. The difference was I was able to solve the problem in one step instead of two. That's what we'll be focusing on in class today.